Hello you all, welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rad from Radko Tarot and in this whole video we are going to check uh, the weekly general tarot reading for your star sign for the week 11th to 17th of uh, January 2021. And in case you are interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a, uh, a link to my website from which very front page you can see the full list of my services and as well their pricing. Also keep in mind that the content for YouTube and Facebook, they are uh, separate, they are exclusive to one another. While in YouTube you can find um, your weekly general tarot readings. In Facebook you are going to find astrology posts performed by the Pisces Moonbeam, which is an exceptional astrologer that works with me. And as well you can catch me live and have your daily tarot readings. So with that being said, enjoy the show. Taurus, so this is going to be about Taurus, Sun, Moon and as well Rising and uh, let me shuffle the tarot cards and we're going to jump right into the spread here or into the reading itself because it's a string reading and there is no dedicated spread for it. It's, uh, it seems that you do guys like it that way. And... Uh, So let's uh, first have a look at the cards that we're going to have. We do have the Empress first one, uh, followed by uh, the Prince of Cups, which is the second. Moving next, that is to be the Moon card, which is the third. Uh, followed by uh, the Eight of Pentacles, which is the fourth card. And the last one here is going to be the Seven of Cups, which is the last one. So uh, towards the start of the week here, Taurus, it does look like, guys, that you would have the, the feeling and the necessity as well to take care of yourself in general. And that itself is going to make you to uh, wish and want and as well do uh, with the role from the midst of all activities, you know, the shenanigans at work and uh, in generally the, uh, the problems at home as well with children, with family, with friends, if you will, just so you can feel in peace, just so you can feel comfortable. Because at that point, at the start of the week, it does look like that you are going to be in a decision making mode with uh, the Empress card. And that is not something... Um, crucial decision that is going to change the course of your view. Well, it's going to, but not like in a split second. Like for example, the decision with the Ten of Swords. Here, what we're talking about is decision how to structure your plan, how to structure your life, if you will, from now on. And also that could be as well a decision regarding some kind of a talents as well, some kind of a creative work also. It could be as well some kind of a love if you are to experiencing in this particular moment. And that is going to be for a reason because at that point, the start of the week, you are going to realize that now is the time for you to, um, uh, how can I say, to sow things. For what you sow, it is what you are going to reap and you will want to, uh, to pretty much... Uh, plant a seeds that you're going to be very happy of reaping moving forward when they grow. Uh, and that is why you would not want to make, uh, how can I say, uh, stupid actions or stupid decisions if we can say, uh, if we can classify them that way, but instead you would want to take your time and uh, pretty much make the most well-found, balanced and accurate decision for a movement and approach of your life moving forward for yourself so you can feel uh, can feel comfortable so you can be uh, how can I say um, fulfilled and surrounded with uh, with peace and uh, as well sense of that there is growth out there may that be into your career into your relationship or in generally uh, may that be in your life you would want from here to go and progress instead of looping in the same magic circle uh, and then the next card here that is to be the knight of cups and that is an individual that steps up that could be someone you know or it could be someone brand new now knights of cups these people they are very wide if i may say it that way why well knights of cups 
These people, they like to, uh, to follow their dreams, okay? And for one or another reason, either you are a dream of theirs or something you want to do is also a dream of theirs. So we are either having here a predisposition for a, uh, a, a intimate relationship, if that's a suitor of yours because you happen to be their dream, okay? Or that could be someone that wants to uh, side with you as in an alliance, working on the same project, you know, uh, building up the same business and so on and so forth. Now, two very important traits of the Knights of Cups. They are a daydreamers, okay? They, they like to talk big. Uh, for example, if that's a suitor of yours, he is he or she, because it could be as well a woman, they're going to promise you the world. Problem, they don't know how to do it, okay? So they are genuine into their, uh, into their intentions. The problem is, is that they are overestimating their own capabilities. Uh, and the other trait of the Knights of Cups, it is that they do not believe into uh, happy coincidences and happy circumstances, but instead they believe in their own, um, own tenacity, if I may say it that way. So that is a person who is really going to put the hard work behind. Either this is going to be career or relationship subject that we do have here. You can expect that this one is going to seek your attention, is going to seek your warmth, is going to seek your performance. This one is not going to just let the situation uh, go uh, how can I say, um, go with the flow, but instead they're going to take the initiative here so they can manifest the dream of their heart, which once again, it could be you or it could be something you want to do. And after that, we do have the moon card. And uh, whether you would like it or not, uh, here with the Knights of Cups, it seems that you do have some kind of a future. There is either an, a lesson that you need to learn uh, from that cooperation or is just you are meant to be together for with the moon card towards the middle of the week You are going to realize that this person the Knights of Cups it becomes inseparable part of your life You will not gonna be able to explain why and that is going to be a very big Obstacle for you that is going to be a very big reason for you to feel uncertain and insecure and at that point uh, fantasies are going to start invading your mind. You know, what is, why this is happening? You know, what, what, what are the circumstances under this one? Why this, this person wants so much to be with me, you know? Or why I'm feeling so attracted to that woman, let's say, while that woman is nothing like I like, right? It's nothing like I want to be with and, and yet I am attracted to her and just I have a feelings for her, for example, right? That is because with the moon card, the, uh, the true circumstances or rather like the true reasons of why something is happening and why something is important for you, they are shrouded in obscurity. That is because if you do know the true reasons, you will be able to change your future. And that is not something you do with the moon card. Here you do have a path to walk. Uh, in this uh, deck, it's pretty much described by the beam of light, okay? That is the path you need, to, you need to walk. You are set on that course, and the course goes beyond the horizon, beyond the summit, so nobody can tell you where you are supposed to go and or what toward what ends or what part of your life that person plays for you, but it is a part that is necessary if you do want to reach your calling, if you do want to, to in generally make your life have a purpose, have a reason. So I'm saying that because you should not fight or try to, uh, how can I say, sever with that Knights of Cups, regardless of how that person is going to appear in your life, either as a business partnership, friendship, or a with intimate intentions. And after that, we do have the Eight of Pentacles. And uh, after this period of a day or two of an uncertainty and insecurity, we are here seeing you with more a, of a determination. To if you do not know where you go and you don't uh, with uh, or where you are heading toward with this individual here, Knights of Cups, you have no control over it. At least you do have a control over the current situation, and that is why uh, you are going to start addressing the current situation with that Knights of Cups with a, a huge conscientiousness. Okay, you are gonna want to uh, pick point on every single detail 
that is surrounding you both, either business-wise or either uh, relationship-wise, and you would want to experience as well everything that can uh, that can develop in between you and that individual. Take it as a uh, uh, ups and downs, or right, like a roller coaster, but it, which is uh, driving or rather like moving very slow. So you can pretty much. And how can I say you you can't point a direction where that roller coaster is gonna go, but at least you can pick up the terrain. That that is how I can explain it. All right, and uh, the more you do that, the more you kind of like address the situation and you make it as perfect as possible. The more you are going to realize that this individual, the appearance of this individual, was what you needed in order to initiate a thing that you have hoped for to initiate, that you have planned to initiate, but something was missing by that point, okay? And now with the appearance of this individual, it's, there, is no, um, there is no absence of, of resources, if I may say it that way. May that resource be money, may that resource be time or help or love, for example. Because the resource of relationship, one of the resources of relationship, it's love. So that resource isn't missing anymore. And finally, that thing that you have planned for yourself to be happy, for example, to be lucrative, uh, can be initiated and can be set into motion. So uh, this is the very first stages here of a, a long lasting development in between you and the Knights of Cups which it seems that is going to be very, very productive. If that's a business, you can expect that this business is going to be rather very successful with a lot of customers, with a lot of attention, okay, with a lot of following. Uh, if that's about a uh, intimate relationship here towards the end of the week, you're going to realize that with this person, you can speak about everything. There won't be any jealousy because there will be trust as well in there. You're going to talk about, you know, the things that you like, you dislike, they like, they, they dislike as well, and you're going to find a way how to uh, meet each other in the middle in the common ground and the last card that we do have for you that is going to be the seven of cups so the prospects here are going to be huge or at least this is what you are going to believe at that point towards the end of the week seeing the potential that whatever relationship or alliance you're going to have with the knights of cups holds so the shrouding of of, of obscurity of the circumstances surrounding your path, you said, are now lifting towards the end of the week and you are seeing how huge you can grow with this Knights of Cups, either business or relationship. And this holds a little bit of a danger here because you may kind of like try to get ahead of yourself, you know, take like a five steps in a straight of one. And um, the good thing, there are good and a bad thing, okay, here. Uh, the good thing is that with the Eight of Pentacles, you, you have set, up, set it up a checkpoint for yourself, okay? So you, uh, you quench the relationship in between you and the Knights of Cups based on um, the, um, the well-found decisions for yourself, how you want to see your life moving forward with the with the Empress at the start of the week. Don't, don't forget that card, it's very essential, right? Because at the start of the week, you do withdraw from the world, you do withdraw from the midst of activities, and you make a plan for yourself, for how you want to see yourself and grow into the future, and then that Knight of Cups steps up, steps up, and it correlates with your plan and together, you know, you move forward, either career or either relationship. And with the Eight of Pentacles, you set up a checkpoint in the relationship in between you and that Knight of Cups. And uh, that is the good thing. Now, the bad thing is the getting ahead of oneself. But you may overestimate, you know, either the state of the circumstances that you are in or either your own personal capabilities. The worst thing that can happen here is a disappointment and that will be a disappointment of, uh, oh, I am not ready for it yet, okay? Or, um, for example, or there are things I have overlooked and I have to get uh, go back, right, from the start and this time around, make it right. So we do have a disappointment, then that disappointment bounces you back at the checkpoint here with the Eight of Pentacles and it grounds you this time around. So instead of flying in, um, in, the, in, in, the cloud, in the cloud nine, right, 
Uh, try to be more grounded and objective about the situation as soon as you kind of like quench that relationship in between you and the Knights of Cups. Uh, grounded in a sense of uh, not how far you can go because you can go very, very far, but how you're going to get there. Because like I said, that Knights of Cups has no idea, neither, neither you do at the start of the week. But this, these ideas are going to start coming in bit by bit. So don't do stupid things. So that being said, guys, this was your uh, weekly general tarot reading, January 11th to January 17th, 2020. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.